Welcome to Brilliance Business TV. On today's show, we have Dario Cucci. Dario is an international speaker, best selling author, and sales mind shifter coach to professionals. He discovered that many professionals, experts, and coaches out there struggle to get repeat business due to their mindset, communication skills, and business strategies in place to support their growth. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pula, and we're in for another incredible guest, another incredible show. We're streaming live on mspnewsglobal.com. We're also streaming through Facebook, Periscope, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram TV, and we're also on the E360 TV network under Fresh Takes on Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, Android TV, and many, many more. I just want to give an official shout out to our show sponsors, Craig Shelley, Beverly Hills, Luxury Watches, and Fine Jewelry at craigshelley.com. So let's get started with the show and bring in Dario. Dario, welcome to Brilliance Business TV. Thanks for having me, Mark. I'm very excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today, Dario. You support your clients with such important skills like their mindset so that they can serve and sell their clients better. Mm. I will pronounce that a little bit better so mm. that they can sell better and mm. serve their clients better. These are real skills that many, many entrepreneurs do struggle with and also customer service I know is such an important part of your own business but you also give those skills to your clients as well mm. and many many businesses do get customer service wrong and they don't focus too much on it so I just want to backtrack a little bit Dario what has led you into what you do today with your clients tell us a little bit about your journey well i mean my journey started uh when i decided to uh, move to australia really because um that's when i ended up getting into um the self-development industry after you know successfully having like a franchise as a personal trainer for almost five years where i just discovered there's more to the body than just, you know, looking fit and healthy and being healthy, but there is also the mind to it, the subconscious mind. And I wanted to discover how can I help people to reprogram their subconscious mind so that they uh, can stop self-sabotaging their results ultimately and thrive in their lives ultimately. And that's when I, you know, got my education as an NLP master practitioner, timeline therapy, and hypnosis therapist, uh, studied with Dr. Tad James at the time. And then throughout the years, I, you know, keep on educating myself, uh, did different uh, trainings on mindsets, on uh, marketing, on JVs, on uh, speaking from stage, selling from stage, you name it, I've done it. And um, after about um, what started after I had my certification as an NLP coach, 
I got offered a job that was based commission, uh, based on commission only sales, selling uh, Tony Robbins program. So uh, maybe some of you know him. He does the things like unleash the power within, they do destiny and that sort of thing. And um, he's a huge deal in, in the United States and also in Australia as well. And in the UK, some, you know, really look up to him and he's, you know, Num number one coach uh, internationally. So when it came to selling those programs, I thought, well, with my education and experience, it should be easy for me to do that. But uh, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be because when you end up cold selling over the phone, calling people yes. that are prospects that either just bought the book or downloaded a freebie, and then now you have to sell a program that is anywhere between a thousand to six thousand dollars to do it's not as easy and i struggled at first and my breakthrough came after two weeks after i didn't make any sales i worked very hard and i thought to myself if i don't after two weeks of not making one sale having almost no money on my bank account to make to pay the rent that was due I got up in the morning and I said to myself, either I make a sale today or I'm gonna quit this job and I'm gonna do some paid by the hour job, bartending, waitering, customer service, whatever. Uh, I went into the office and I remember I had one conversation with a lady that I was really interested in um, doing the Daily Destiny program, which was uh, $6,000. So I followed her up and I actually had a really good conversation and instead of, you know, doing the hard pitch sales kind of thing that I used to do, I ended up asking her quality questions and kept on putting her on hold when she asked me questions because some of the things I didn't know, asked my supervisor at the time and then I went back to her and said, yes, you can extend it or reschedule if you can make it in six months. And she finally said yes to it. And I was like, yes, I finally made commission, $1,000, which paid my bills, by the way. And uh, that's how it all started, literally. And uh, from there on, I made about five to $10,000 per month on sales for, uh, over the phones. And throughout the years, even though I changed companies in the self-development industry, um, the last company I worked with was 21st Century Education, there was one thing that I noticed throughout the industry in itself when it came to service and education is that the front end on selling is really great that is really consistent so there um things are happening but on the back end of customer care and, and sales there's little structure to no structure at all to actually keep in touch and building a relationship with the customer and that is the downfall of literally almost every company i know of because they are making sales and then when there is a complaint or there is an issue there's no one to reach and even when you do reach a person that is responsible for it all they look at is the terms and conditions and they don't actually go out of their way to accommodate the customer yes which is the reason why customers eventually leave to go to another company in the hopes that the customer service will be better and most of the time that's not the case and that's how I ultimately started my career. And after, you know, over 10 years being an employee um, in Australia and having uh, decided that I don't want to live in Australia anymore, I wanted to ultimately move back to Switzerland to start over, to be more with family, to, you know, have time for myself. I then, you know, started over again in, in Switzerland for a couple of years. And I discovered the same issues there as well. And then I started my own company and started, you know, holding workshops, bringing out my own book, turning customers into profits, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching with uh, entrepreneurs and small business owners to help them prevent that issue from occurring because the problem is not just with the big companies, it's also the small companies. And the thing is, Every time you lose a customer, you need to get a new customer to, to basically keep the revenue up. And that is like a vicious cycle that, that I want to help people to escape from because it's not healthy and marketing becomes more and more expensive these days. So 
that's the reason why I got all into to ultimately help people shift their mindset when it comes to serving and selling to their customers, but also helping them gain more clarity around themselves, who they are and what their purpose is in life. Why did they start their business? It's not, it's not just about money, but it's also about a person that has a life's purpose on why they started their business. And I want to help them discover that so that they can ultimately become a better leader when working with their employees to serve their customers and ultimately um, make it a lot easier for, for them to gain confidence and be able to do that without the hard selling tactics. It's great to hear your journey and I bet that's been such a ride for you and you have really put in the hours, the graft, all that cold calling which I know when you first start doing these skills, Dario, they mm. are so scary. I mm. remember when I started in network marketing and the thought of even doing a video, picking up a phone, they are really, really scary yeah. things to do. And you are really good at teaching people how to do it well. Now, you did mention that you use skills like NLP, timeline therapy, hypnotherapy. Can you just touch a little bit, because some entrepreneurs may have not used these tools, Dario, just in brief a little bit about each one and the power and the impact that they have on people. I know the power of them because I use all three of them, but just can you share a little? I, I'm lying there. I use two. I've never really used timeline therapy, so I'm interested to learn a little <laughs> bit about that as well. Well, okay. Well, all of those, those techniques, I mean, those are just some, then I got uh, other techniques that I've learned over the years. But all of those techniques deal with the subconscious mind's behavior, okay? In a Western society, we are programmed to focus mainly on the logical and egoistical way of thinking. So we are uh, literally ignoring uh, or are dismissive of the subconscious mind's behavior mostly. And as a result, we make our lives a lot more difficult because our subconscious mind is the strongest um in when it comes to the mindset because there's a subconscious mind and there's a logical mind and the logical mind only has 10 percent power over what's really happening with our behavior whereas the subconscious mind is 90 percent of it of our behavior and our thoughts are basically guided or um you know um they guided by our subconscious mind that's it and so NLP is a technique, I say it's a technique, it's not the end of all, but it's one technique that is used to reconnect with your subconscious mind and really and learn how to communicate with it. And not only that, but also learn to let go of all patterns that are destructive, that are holding you back so that you gain clarity around who you are, who you want to be as a better version of yourself, and then ultimately start changing those behaviors from a subconscious mind because the subconscious mind is the one that controls the outcome of it. Yes. So if you are optimizing that, then your behavior will be optimized and your outcomes will be better than before. And hypnosis is another way where you guide the subconscious mind, you, commu you connect, communicate, and you guide the subconscious mind to remember past events or even um, see future possible events and, and visions and goals um, that you want to uh, ultimately manifest. So let's say you are wanting to let go of a negative behavior like, um, you know, anxiety, for instance, okay? And anxiety is always triggered when a word or an event comes up, like you have to get um, a test done. And every time there is a test, you, you know, you tense up, you, you are, you, you're anxiety driven and you can't think straight and therefore you're most likely to fail the test. 
so because it relates to an incident that happened way back in school that every time it there's a text even though you might be in your 30s it triggers that memory and as a result it triggers the emotion of it in a negative way so when you do hypnosis for instance you can guide the subconscious mind back to that event to take the learning and let go of the anxiety through the learning and as a result um, Im implement seeds of positive memories and association with the emotion at that event so that next time it is triggered instead of anxiety you feel calm and clear as an as a outcome and so you no longer have anxiety as a result of it now sometimes it is required to do more than one session other times with one hypnosis session it can be uh, you know resolved depending on the issue it really comes down to the, the the intensity of the issue the length and how receptive the person is to be coached or you know receive hypnosis and things like that because i always say it's a work with tool it's not a i do it to you tool even hypnosis is a work with you tool because you need to be receptive to it and willing to go there as the client and if you're not then you can self-sabotage the hypnosis process just as much as anything else in life. So yes. um, timeline therapy in itself is a technique that has been created by Dr. Tad James. Um, it's a, a very powerful technique where it's in between, you're always in between a um, wake state and, and a, a state of relaxation, almost like in a hypnosis state, but you're not in a hypnosis state. So therefore, what you do is you allow yourself to connect with your subconscious mind and the therapist can then guide the subconscious mind back into the past to ultimately see where the learning lies from, what it is that you need to let go of from anger, sadness, guilt, emotions uh, that are driven by memories in your subconscious mind that have not yet taken the learning from it and therefore um, it can, you know, cause issues in your daily life, such as, you know, health issues, mental issues, and so on, or even like issues in relationships or, you know, workplace. And when you go to the very first incident where the subconscious mind created that behavior, then the therapist can guide you to help you understand what is the, ultimately, what is the positive learning of that event so because once the subconscious mind learns that um, the positive learning of that event, it can let go of the negative emotions attached to it and be neutral again and open to learn new things and as a result, move on forward. And that's, uh, and once you've taken that learning and apply it to all the things that you experience throughout the timeline in your life, then you're, point of view and your behavior will change 180 degrees in the way you handle it. And that's timeline therapy. And it can be used for things in the past, but also to, you know, set your goals and achieve your goals better, to have more clarity. Um, I used to do people for letting go of, um, yeah, letting go of confidence issues, you know, not being sure of yourself. Um, I let I help people to set their goals with that, you know, so they achieve their goals as a result of it. Um, I help people with timeline therapy to let go of, you know, angst, fear, things like that, that they used to have fear about, to then all, all of a sudden be able to no longer have the fear of, you know, being in a relationship or the fear of um, not being accepted or anything like that. Thank you, Davio. You exp explain that really, really well, because I know people who are struggling, maybe not working with hypnosis and NLP. And it's great to hear about timeline therapy. It sounds very, very interesting because mm. 
when you are having those struggles, sometimes you don't realise the power, Dario, that hypnosis alone. As for me, I do a lot of self-hypnosis and it's so, so powerful. The same with NLP. They are mm -hmm. tools that you can use to really get to where you want to be a lot quicker and a lot smoother as well. They can be very, very powerful to tap into the subconscious. What you can't just do without knowing these kind of yeah. techniques. So thank you for sharing that. Now we are coming up to a commercial break, Dario. So, so far we have been joined with Dario Cucci. He has shared his journey into entrepreneurship and why he does what he does today with helping people with customer service skills, sales, selling and mindset. He has shared all about timeline therapy, hypnosis, NLP, he has shared the problems that entrepreneurs are facing. Join us after the commercial break when we go a lot more in detail. Welcome back to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. And we are joined today by, with the incredible Dario Pucci. Dario, I really enjoyed the first part of the show. You really can share a feel of what you do, who you support, the problems that they face, and went into detail with all of those great techniques that will support entrepreneurs to get better results. I would like to know, could you share with us five of your top tips for people out there who may be struggling at the moment in their online businesses or they may be a business owner, entrepreneur, and they're finding it difficult with selling mindset and maybe some customer service as well could be one of the problems that they are facing. So give us some strategies, give us your five top tips. I mean, the first tip is you need to look at where is your mindset right now? Because if your mindset is in a negative, in a, in a way to have limiting beliefs, to continue to talk negative or just not being um, aligned with what it is that you do and you're incongruent with your business, then you need to address that first because you will not sell confidently over the phone or in person when you're not convinced of your service or the product that you're selling. So the first thing um, you want to do is address your own mindset and work with that to make sure that it's positive and that you are confident with who you are and what it is that you sell, um, no matter if it is a product or service. Um, the second thing that is required to do is you need to understand the blueprint of why you, why not somebody else? Why should a customer come to you and stay with you during the next one, two, three, four, five, or many more years to come? And how can you serve them? So the second thing is even important for an existing business. If you already have an existing business, sit down and define what the business does and how we actually, how your business serves your customers over the many years to come. And why 
you are different to the customer, uh, you know, in comparison to your competition? What makes you stand out from the rest? The third thing that is very important, and this is one thing that mostly is underestimated by a lot of entrepreneurs and small business owners, is to practice your communication skills and strategies and structure yourself with your business better. Because first of all, if the structure isn't in place to grow your business and you're winging it with notepads and Excel sheets, and you have appointments and you end up missing them, then you're shooting yourself in the foot and you're going to lose a lot of business through just having those kind of things happening to you. And as a result, you will not be will be you will, you will not be able to build trust with your existing and new customers when you don't have a structure to do so by knowing how to make use of an, a CRM and knowing how to do all that. Secondly, with that in mind, with your communication skills, you might have one type of communicating your service or product, and that's good for one third of the people you're going to speak to. But what about the rest of the 70% of people you're speaking to? If you cannot adapt your communication with those prospects and customers, they mostly will feel uncomfortable and they will lose trust um, initially or even over time and as a result not actually buy your product or even if they are with you end up going somewhere else. So it's important that you are improving your communication skills so you can adapt to the different personalities and how you communicate with them to serve them better um, in, you know, ultimately building trust and being there for them and understanding what they need is. Thirdly, is also the strategies. Not every strategy in sales is the right one for you. So you need to discover and learn which strategy in sales is the right for you because let's say you do a hard sales strategy and you are the type of person that does a hustle really well, but you got a shy person on the phone and the shy person does not need that. The shy person needs more empathy. The shy person needs more uh, understanding of the benefits and their questions answered. And all you're doing is hard way pitching and you'll lose that person immediately. <laughs> Whereas when you know how to have the, have the empathy, really engage, uh, ad you know, adjust your behavior, become more of a calm personality than a, you know, excited personality. Um, then the person on a subconscious level will start feeling more comfortable and open up more to you. So those kind of things need to be taught, they need to be learned over time. And it's not something where I take a pill today and tomorrow I'm great at it. So that's where my services ultimately come in. Fourth, uh, ultimately it's all about longevity. So don't sell yourself short in the beginning, but don't um, overprice yourself at with your service and sell a high-end product straight out of the gate. Because the higher the price point is, the more you need to prove that you're worth what it is that you're selling. And if you are not providing the service, then your reputation will hit, will take a hit. To give you an idea, I had that experience with one mentor, a past mentor of mine, yes. and he didn't deliver on the customer service end. And he didn't really gave me the feeling of being looked after. And therefore, as a result, I would never go back to that person, not even if they are holding a huge event and selling a ticket or whatnot, in fact, I actually, after my experience with that person, uh, I actually said to the salesperson when they approached me again, do never ever approach me again because I have no interest in the business you're working with. And that could have been avoided if the customer service on the back end would have been much better. Yes. And the last piece is make sure that whatever you do, um, have your terms and conditions in place to protect yourself and your business. And if they're not in place, if, if you're not like 
have them at least like in you know a standard in place then make sure you get them in place because there are people out there that will take advantage of you when you do not have those terms and conditions and you need to be clear and transparent with your customers so they do know that they have their own responsibility if they pay a high-end program for uh, and sign up for you they have their own responsibility to make sure that they get all of that if they don't then it's their problem but it's not your problem to refund them okay so only refund a person if you have not offered your service you're not provided the service and you have not made the attempt to resolve it otherwise you're going backwards with your business and end up closing shop. And that's basically my fifth tip when it comes to the economy. Davia, that is just so much value for people listening and tuning in and watching us today. And mindset is so important. And it's not just something that you do once. Mindset mm. is a lifelong journey. You have to work on it consistently. Absolutely. And you really did touch on something really important, Dario, communication. This just brought to my mind the amount of people I'll be having conversations with. They may have booked calls with me and then they ghost. Oh, my word. And then they will like your posts on Facebook. And you've mm. in my head, I'm thinking, some people need to learn to say no, have the guts to say I'm not interested, I've changed my mind because it's all about reputation and when you just ghost that comes across really, really rude in business mm. and there may be a time that you need to do business with that person and rebuild yeah. the relationship politely refuse politely say no that is a pet hate of mine and it does happen where people will say oh yes i want to get on board i'm really interested and then they will just ignore and i don't like that at all dario how do you feel about that um look i mean to be quite honest i think um in no certain terms i think some people just are missing their freaking balls to actually uh, stand up for themselves and that's how i feel about it and i think it's a weak trait of a person to do that and it also shows to me that they're not professional enough to know how to do it it's not about saying no i'm not interested but at least when you are you know in in that sense when you are approaching a person and you say i i want to speak with you that is an indication that they're interested when they're ghosting and it just happened to me uh yesterday actually um i have no idea why they're ghosting it has to do self i believe it has to do self-confidence to be honest like i said some people don't have the balls and they just need to grow some to be quite honest and uh it's about be transparent and communicate. And if you feel like you're not ready to communicate yet, you can politely say, can we reschedule and do it another day? I'm just not in that place right now, or at least know that you cannot make it. And just yes. say, look, I appreciate we have got a, a time together for uh, at the moment, I'm not feeling well, or I cannot make it for whatever reason. Um, do you mind if we cancel it and make another time or just leave it? At least do one or two of those things because it's not just about it's not just about the reputation of how people perceive you, but it's also for yourself who does it. It is um, irresponsible if you ask me for your business because yes. your business relies on new customers. And when you are, or even like new business partners. So when you are, you know, um, making an appointment with somebody, the least you can do is say, look, I cannot make it. If for whatever reason you missed the appointment, you forgot about it, then the least you can do is text the person, say, my apologies, I missed it. Um, can we reschedule? It wasn't on purpose. It can happen. It's not the end of the yes. world. But the biggest problem we have these days is that 
business people, startup businesses, all of a sudden feel like they want to go really fast and make a lot of sales. And that's all good. Though you need to learn how to not only, you know, get appointments, but also close the sale at the appointment or schedule in another time to catch up and do a follow-up conversation. And also look after those people that you're serving. And if you don't do those kind of things, the simple things where when you make an appointment, turn up, have a conversation and take it from there. And if you cannot do that, don't have a business, period. I have to agree. Manners, being polite goes a long way. There's nothing worse than being ignored. I would much rather someone say it's not the right time. Sorry, I've missed the appointment. Accidents happen. Mm. Yes, a few days may go by. That's acceptable. But just to ignore after you've been in communication and someone has given you their time, that's not a good way to do business and you will burn bridges in the long run. I'm all about just say no politely, have manners. It's not the right time now, but we can touch base in the future. Always end the conversation. Don't ignore in business because this is not a great way to build relationships. It's very mm. rude just to ignore. Now, Dario, we met... We didn't meet, my apologies. We, You invited me to speak on your platform in London. Mm -hmm. That's how we built our relationship. And it's called The Ultimate Entrepreneur. Now, we've been in lockdown for forever, for the last over a year. Is yeah, exactly. The Ultimate Entrepreneur going to be happening again online or is it going to be live, which would be absolutely amazing? I just can't wait till we can network and meet up face to face again. But what's going on with The Ultimate Entrepreneur event? Um, I put all the multi-speaker events online and offline for the time being on hold and simply because I want to focus on my business, to be honest, and uh, just put myself as a priority and not other, pe not other people. Not, nothing against it. I love helping other entrepreneurs and, and other speakers, and I actually enjoy doing it. But the one thing that I've noticed is, is so much work goes into holding like a summit or yes, a does. webinar and promoting it. And then the problem we have, there's so many things that you need to take care of administratively that ultimately when I do end up doing it again, I will get another person to do all that stuff. Yes. And at the same time, though, for me right now, I need to get my marketing optimized. I need to get my um list you know build up and all of the the stuff that i want to do with my business to the point where i go now it's at a point where i can actually leverage it for a multi-speaker event i love doing live events i love to do it again you're um, good at them as well you put on <laughs> the best events dario thank you most likely at a different venue because the venue we had had a lot of issues as you know and they were not willing to accommodate um, uh, even after I made several complaints and therefore I will end up, you know, um, going most likely to a different venue. When that happens, we will see. Hopefully in the next 12 months, things will normalize. I am invited to speak live at a summit in France in June. Maybe that will happen, I don't know, um, because as it is right now, France and Italy are in lockdown. Uh, UK, I know, is in lockdown as well. Switzerland is in partial lockdown. So it just makes it really difficult, to be quite honest. And every country has different rules and regulations. And I like life to be simple, to be quite honest. And when I travel, I like things to be simple. I don't like to, you know, have to take a COVID test to then go on the airplane. And yes. um, three days before I go back, get, take another COVID test to then ultimately come back and be in quarantine for seven days. 
it's just very um uh very inconvenient right now to travel to cast <laughs> it's it's going to be a whole new world i'm so desperate to go on holiday i've built quite a great lifestyle for myself and it's took me a long time to get here dario mm. and i'm finally at a point where i can travel more and do business in different countries and i'm really wanting that but it's going to be a whole new wor world with all these covid passports that they're talking about bringing in and mm. we have still got to wait for the light at the end of the tunnel for the world to open up fully again you do put on great events dario i've done my own event before in the past and i totally get where you're coming from there is a lot of effort and it takes a lot of time to put on events like this time energy you're just brilliant at it as well so i'll look forward to that in the future thank you now you do support your clients one-on-one -on -one, and i know you're offering a 15 minutes discovery call to your clients but also you've brought out a a new program as well so just tell us a little bit about what people can get on this 15 minute discovery call dario and a little bit about your new program as well well during the 15 minute it's a discovery call where i talk to the person on zoom a uh, video conference a style and ultimately help them understand where their strength lies where the weaknesses are within what they are doing and how they can yes. improve those kind of things and then ultimately we feel like we want to work together i'll let them know how um we can work together one-on-one -on -one or possibly maybe them joining the group coaching program if that's a good fit for them and the program that i have for people that are just wanting to tip in their toe i say like that and get to know um the content that i'm sharing to shift their mindset let go of limiting beliefs when it comes to selling improve their self-confidence gain clarity um it's called the seven day sales mind shifter challenge and right now um people can actually buy that one for 49 dollars which is like 37 pounds um as a bonus they get access to the recording of my servant cell masterclass seminar that i held um, as well as a copy of my book, Turn Your Customers Into Profits. And uh, they also have one year membership. So they can actually, even though those are like every day for seven days, five minute videos with, uh, with tasks to do, they have access to all of that for one year. That's and no amazing value. It is, it's great value. So um they can actually when they go to my website dariacucci.net there will be a pop-up and they can actually go through the sales funnel and then buy that program and uh, they can also through my website just book in a 15-minute call when they do book in a 15-minute call and mention that they come because of the interview that they saw they i'm happy to extend that 15 minutes to 30 minutes so I'm not a person that goes like now it's 15 minutes and it's over. If I feel like there is more to give and they can, you know, benefit more, give them more tips and valuable insights to what it is that they can do to improve their own mindset, their communication and sales strategies, more than happy to extend it to 30 minutes. I would just say to everyone, take advantage of getting Dario on a call for 15 minutes. I have seen the work he has done with his clients and the results that they get. I've seen him on stage transform people's mindsets very, 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 very quickly. And he supported me i've supported him we've built relationships he is about what he says what you see on the tin is what you get so take advantage of the 15 minute discovery call daviocucci.net and i would also say for 49 dollars to get all that value that is as cheap as chips entrepreneurs out there grab it with both hands Davio, I have really enjoyed having you on the Brilliance Business TV show. 
my last question and it's not a question i would <laughs> like you to leave with a word of wisdom we've been in a global pandemic we're still in it a lot of places have still locked down people have gone out of business people have lost jobs entrepreneurs many have thrived i've had a great year i know you've had a great year there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there due to their industry or their product they are struggling dario mm -hmm. what is a word of wisdom that you can leave so that those people out there through these times who have struggled can have some hope for these coming months in the future to get better results um well there's a few things but i would say you know um I say one of the things is sales is a result of a great quality conversation. Okay. It's the outcome of serving your prospects and your customers that ultimately is a sale. It's not because you're twisting a person's arm. It's not because of a technique that you read or saw somewhere, but it's because you build a relationship with the person you're speaking to and that person trusts you and your service or your product so much that they want to buy it from you and they are willing to invest it because they see the value from it and i think these days a lot of entrepreneurs are so focused on just selling 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 that that's get that all of that gets lost so instead of selling start serving your customers and focus on holding every day five quality conversations with people that could benefit from your service and allow them to make their own decisions without twisting their arms, but do have a call to action and incentivize them when they do um, make the jump to trust you and, and buy from you. Give them something that normally people don't get when they buy it online, but let them know the value of it and say to them, look, normally people, when they buy this online, they pay this much, but because you made the decision today to get started, as a thank you gift, I will give you this in addition, and that's actually for free. You don't pay for that. And uh, I look forward to working with you long term, and uh, I cannot wait to serve you and be there for you. And the second thing is make always sure that when you do have customers, that you get back to them and communicate in a transparent way with them, letting them know where it's at, within at least 24 hours, if not less. Be responsive. Don't be a person that automates everything, but instead see which things you need automated and which things you don't, so that you can serve your customers better and build a good relationship with them. I am taking from that, Dario, instead of selling, selling, selling entrepreneurs, start serving your customers. Dario, thank you so much for being on the Brilliance Business TV show. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. Today, we have been joined by Dario Cucci. He has shared his personal journey of what has led him to what he does today in customer service, selling and mindset. We have had so much value and tips and guidance for people out there who may be struggling in entrepreneurship and business or maybe they are already successful but they want to get to the next level he has given some great great value there we have learned all about dario's amazing events he's offering the free 15 minutes discovery call at dariocucci.net thank you everyone for watching the brilliance business tv show conversations with leading experts in business until next time, bye for now.